Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, February 20th, and hopefully we can make it through this. I'm losing my uh, voice pretty bad. Hopefully it'll get better by Wednesday when I'm over in Canada. But uh, right now we've seen lots of records shattered across the state on Saturday. We had a few broken on Sunday, and I think we'll see some more record high temperatures fall this week, especially as we get into Wednesday when we can see temperatures possibly approaching the mid-60s to low 70s in some areas. So Wednesday right now looks like an absolutely fantastic day. Of course, uh, today will be a pretty good day today as well. And then tomorrow afternoon will be quite nice as well. You can see warm conditions and wet conditions for the next 6 to 10 and 8 to 14 day outlooks. Our normal high is 34. The normal low is 17. And if we look at the warmest and coldest temperatures across the lower 48 for Sunday, you can see the warm spot 93 degrees at McAllen, Texas, and the low, a relatively mild 12 above zero at Mam Flakes, California. Across the MAC area yesterday, you can see temperatures mainly in the upper 50s to low 60s. The warm spot, Jasper, up to 65 degrees, and the cold spot at Nuego at 25. And you can see we're running over 5.5 degrees above normal per day. So, so far, a very warm February indeed. And if we look at conditions around the area this morning, relatively mild mid to upper 30s across the region. And you can see some of the scrolling record highs from Saturday. And we'll update this scrolling banner with record highs that were uh, achieved yesterday across the state. And if we look at the uh, low level wind field, you can see off to our west a lot of deep moisture, a lot of southerly warm winds moving up into um, parts of the high plains. As this system moves this way, we'll see our temperatures increase, but also we'll see an increase in moisture. In fact, by tonight we can see some showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder move through the area. And you can see that deep moisture on the satellite view coming up into the Great Lakes or towards the Great Lakes. And again, as that system moves to the east, we'll see plenty of showers break out. Uh, especially for very, very late tonight into uh, the early afternoon hours across the eastern areas tomorrow. But again, I think most locations will see over a quarter of an inch of rain, possibly up to around a half inch. Of course, it's always more if you get underneath a thunderstorm. And you can see some of that shower thunderstorm activity well off to our west. But again, as the system moves east, those will move into the area for later tonight. And while there's nothing on the MAC lightning detection network system right now, we'll likely see some of that activity increase overnight. And if we look farther ahead as the main system pulls through on Friday, which will then bring cold air back into the region over the weekend with maybe even some snow, we'll see a very uh, significant outlook for five days in advance to be showing this. So this could be a pretty significant severe weather outbreak across parts of the Ohio Valley and the Southern Great Lakes. So we'll we'll keep an eye on here over the next several days. On this morning's weather map, you can see the front that slipped through and that gave us about two to five degrees cooler weather yesterday than on Saturday. And again, this is going to return north as a warm front as we get into uh, Tuesday, and that'll bring uh, showers and thunderstorms overnight. We'll see temperatures tomorrow possibly around 60 degrees. And then uh, as we move into the day on Wednesday, again, that system will return back to north as a warm front as the main system begins to pull out of the plains. And again, this is going to have a pretty significant uh, warm push of air, and we can see temperatures possibly approaching 70 degrees across the southern part of the state with lots of 60s across the MAC area for the day on Wednesday. As far as the precipitation over the next seven days, you can see a pretty good slug of uh, anywhere from around a half inch to possibly as much as an inch or so across much of lower Michigan, and we'll certainly keep an eye on that. But uh, certainly some rain is definitely in the forecast. And some of that off to the northwest will be in the form of snow. But over the next three days, we do not expect any snow at all. And if we look at the um, the, the uh, Southern Oscillation Index, and you can see I uh, talked about the big crash we're getting now and how that could uh, create a little bit of mischief. And as we get into the early, the uh, middle part of next week, we expect a second storm that could bring some significant snow. Again, this is only wish casting. I'm not saying we're going to get over a foot of snow across the area, but the GFS is picking up on that. Now, the first storm that would come in for late this weekend of the weekend would take the snow across parts of Minnesota, northern Iowa, Wisconsin, into the UP. And this would be for the early to middle part of next week if that were to happen. Right now, the uh, European shows a weaker system off to the south, bringing in about two to six inches of snow across parts of central and southern Ohio and Indiana. And again, this is just something we're going to have to keep an eye on. It looks like a significant storm may develop later next week, and we'll certainly follow that. But until we get to about Saturday or Sunday, this system here is nothing but wish uh, casting. If we look at the uh, weather watches out there this morning, this is on Friday, but there's nothing significant across the Great Lakes. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.